Welcome back everybody, I am the Executioner and today we're going to be talking about the ANCAP Otaku Kimura situation. So ANCAP Otaku aka Kimura was jailed recently in Texas over child pornography and criminal trespass charges. Now there was a stream by Nate the Voluntarist who actually went into detail with a number of people who were involved in this situation, even ANCAP Otaku's girlfriend over the criminal trespass charge. The criminal trespass charge seems to stem from an incident where he trespassed on his uh, former girlfriend's property and kept otaku and basically had tried to do attempted murder. That was the reason behind the criminal trespass, but this whole thing gets a little bit sketchy when you actually look into the citations they gave. Now, they gave a number of uh, screenshots and shit like that during the actual video, and to them, kudos actually having screenshots, but the whole thing, all those screenshots where you actually see a link, you can't click on that link. It's not down below anywhere on Odyssey whatsoever. It's nowhere to be found. So you have to go in there and manually type it, look for that link, go to the Judicial Record Center, type up that name versus just having the Judicial Records link right there for people to click on. That at first made me very skeptical because the links that I saw were originally just criminal trespass and criminal trespass can mean a number of things. It could mean even more than attempted murder. So when you look into that, you go, well, it's just criminal trespassing. Then you look into, oh, there is a CP charge. It's like, okay, let's look into that. So a friend of mine found that link. And yeah, it is true. And Kapotaku had CP content. But this whole thing is really sketchy when it comes into the whole thing of actually citing what they have as evidence and doing that whole shit. To me, it's a clusterfuck. It's a unorganized stream, number one. And number two, they don't have enough evidence to back up their claims in the description itself. If you're going to put links in the description to support your claim, you need to put all of your evidence, number one, number one, links to where it happened, okay, and the PDFs they actually did have did not have links in them for the judicial record screenshot that they were banking on. And pulling up this guy's name in a number of sexual registries, they claimed he was a sexual predator in cross straight lines and he didn't register. Well, I couldn't find either New Mexico or Arizona where this guy was a sexual predator. So it didn't help there when they didn't actually mention the correct state where he was from. So this whole thing kind of seemed sketchy to me at first. I'm not defending this guy. I think pedophiles and uh, obvious criminal scum are awful. But I think that when they were trying to do this video of a exposed video, that it was absolutely garbage dumpster fire, in my honest opinion. But if you like the video, please subscribe, like the video, and share it around, and have an awesome weekend that is coming up. Remember guys, stay free.